We're gonna use our hand trowel and we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna start moving it back. And we're gonna go down to the actual soil level that this is at, down in depth to the actual soil. And I'm gonna use that to see if we need to add more later or if we're not, if we're good to go. Hey everybody, John and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi everybody, happy Monday to you and it's day 161 of the Quarantine Gardeners. If you don't know, that's us, we're the Quarantine Gardeners and this is our daily video log of us accomplishing different projects around our garden while we're under quarantine. And we're so thankful you're here, you guys. Thank you for watching and go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on every daily video that we post. So guys, today we are talking about mulch. It's Mulch Monday and we're gonna go around our yard and check the mulch depth to see where we might need to add more mulch in our yard and how you can do it too. Yeah, there's some areas around our yard that we definitely need to replenish and add some new mulch. And there's other areas that we just mulched in the spring and they should be fine. But we're gonna actually nerd out a little bit with our tape measure and actually show you what the proper depth should be and what ours is at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna show you our process. Before we get started though, can you guys find the frog? I think he's, I think he's, pretty much up further on the on the hill up there. It sounds a little bit further away than right there. That's so cool. We've been hearing this garden frog around different parts of our yard lately, and we can't seem to find him. Sometimes it sounds like it's under the deck. Sometimes it sounds like it's up on the hill up here in the backyard. Sometimes we hear it out in the front yard too, right underneath the front window by the Crocosmia. That's and so cool. Yeah, well, he's hiding now. We have a resident frog. I love that. So guys, you can see we've got our hand trowel there and we've got our tape measure. We're gonna use those today, but we've got our planting bed right here and it's got some mulch that we put down pro probably yeah, mid spring or so. So we're gonna recheck this to see if we need to replenish this. This is arborist mulch and we're checking to see what we need to replenish with more arborist mulch. We're doing like with like. So just something to consider when checking depth of your mulch. So guys, first thing you wanna do, find the bed that you wanna replenish the mulch in and you wanna check the depth, right? So we're gonna use our hand trowel and we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna start moving it back and we're gonna go down to the actual soil level that this is at. Now you can see I'm moving the soil in one direction back towards me because I don't wanna move it this way because I wanna measure this level of the mulch down in depth to the actual soil. And I'm gonna use that to see if we need to add more later or if we're not, if we're good to go. So we're gonna get down here and I think we found our soil. There's our soil. All right, so here's our soil right here. So we're gonna measure from this depth up to this level of the mulch. Okay, let's see what we have. You wanna guess before I do it? I don't know, I'm thinking three inches. That's like yep, I'm thinking about three, three inches too. So I'm gonna take our tape measure, put it down to the soil level. Then I'm gonna take my trowel and put it flat on the surface of the mulch here, and I'm gonna go straight across. Oh. Now I can't see what that says, because the numbers- four inches. Is it? Yeah. Cool, I'll see. But, so this is a good find for us, because we want our mulch to be at four inches thick. So if we go thicker on the four inches, then we're gonna run into maybe some issues with the water getting down through all the mulch, down into the soil for the roots then take up. And so we don't wanna create more of a barrier. We don't wanna create a longer barrier or longer avenue of the water to flow through to get to the roots of the plants. So four inches for us is great. Um, and so that'll also help with weed suppression and a couple other things that we've already talked about in other videos. So this is good. We're looking good here. Okay, you guys, we're in our front yard and we're checking out the mulch in this garden bed that we're still kind of redesigning. We're under the dogwood tree. Really old dogwood tree, yep. you guys. So this is our shaded area under the dogwood tree. I remember us filming here earlier this year because we removed all the vinca in this whole area. And it's coming back. Coming back. Ah, get it out. Get it out. And you guys, for real, we found three more tomato plants that randomly grow in here. I mean. Nothing but surprises in our garden. They're everywhere. <laughs> Tomatoes Maybe in your garden everywhere. too. Because, yeah, every day there's always a surprise. I know. So guys, we're out here looking at the mulch levels because we did remove the vinca out here um, uh, earlier this spring. So we've got some bare dirt in this area. We know this older mulch, this is about two or so years old of mulch and it's still got some good heft to it. It's got some good uh, thickness and texture to it. It's still breaking down, but we wanna replenish it. So we're gonna go into, we're gonna go in this area up here and check to see how deep it is to get it replenished. And so here we go. Just like we did in the backyard, we're gonna move this away to expose in this direction to expose the soil. So then 
as we pull it in this direction, we still have this level of mulch to use for measurement. I think, I think we found the Ooh, soil. That's not very deep at all. It's not very deep, nope. Okay, so if I go, now there's a bunch of roots here, so I'm gonna go this way, but it's still very shallow, but it's deeper than we were at. So here's the true, where does that put us? It's, I think it's right under two inches. It's kind of hard to see from my angle. Oh, hold on. Bye, Vinka. Get, Get out of there. Okay. How's that? It's under two inches. Whoa, so? Yeah, we need mulch. Okay. So we need to add at least two more inches of uh, mulch in this area to bring it back up to about or just under four inches like we like it. So we'll use that number, the just over two inches, maybe two and a quarter inches, in our calculations when we're figuring out the volume of mulch that we need to buy to put into this area. It's a good thing we always seem to have a never-ending supply of mulch, so we have quite a bit here. Yep. You can see some of the piles been picked up and taken to other garden areas, so, and the neighbors next door borrowed a little bit because Because we not? always have it. Yep, we need to, <laughs> gotta share what we got. So guys, that's how we're checking the mulch depth in our garden. Uh, feel free to use the same method, or if you have a different method, uh, let us know down below. We'd like to hear how you do it. Also, leave your comments and questions down below for us, because we love hearing from you. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. Yeah, you guys, that's a wrap for today, and come on back tomorrow to see what we're up to on the Quarantine Gardeners. We'll be back tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.